Buenos dias, amigos. It is mid-morning here in beautiful Ahihi. Today, I'm going to show you how to develop and strengthen those puny forearms. Okay, so your forearms are from your wrists up to your elbows. To begin with, we're going to do another tricep. I'm taking a curl bar with a wide grip, locking my elbows in, and I'm going to reverse curl up and then down slowly with control. We're going to do eight of these. You may need a little bit more weight on than what I'm showing you, but you never want so much weight that you're going to be struggling. You always want to be able to control the weight. Elbows tucked in, arms just simply open and close. So once we do that, we grab a pair of dumbbells again that you can handle and we do what is called hammer curls. All the way down, come up about two thirds of the way and down slowly. Up and down. These two exercises will hopefully help prevent both golf and tennis elbow because they are not only working your forearms but that little muscle that connects your upper and lower arm. Okay, set of hammer curls. Well, lastly, but definitely not least, we're going to sit down and we're going to do reverse wrist curls. Now this is called a gooseneck. It has no place in the gym except in this exercise. We're going to start with our hands in a gooseneck position and then we're simply going to extend the wrist up and we're going to work the muscles on top of our forearms. Very good exercise to help prevent carpal tunnel. A carpal tunnel is in the reverse area. Try to avoid too many of these exercises where you're flexing the wrist because it's already strong and the nerves and muscles get all bunched up in here. What we want to do is work the opposing muscle group up in here. So reverse wrist curls can be done with a barbell or can be done with dumbbells. Adios amigos.